Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching another video. Today I got something super special for you guys. I've been wanting this part for such a long time. I saw an S2000 and I got this particular part maybe two years ago. I was cruising with the homie in SF. This S2000 just whipped around the corner. I barely got a quick glance at it. And let me just say, I fell fucking in love with this piece. It may not be the biggest piece to y'all, but to me personally, my rear end needed something new. Are you guys ready to see the part or what? Let's get it. Shitty cinematics, they're all handheld. I'm actually charging the batteries for my Ronin right now. As you guys can tell, I did get the Depot taillights for the S2000. I went ahead and got the smoked ones just because I'm going with more of a dark vibe for my car. They look pretty fucking badass if you ask me. So today we're gonna do a quick installation. From what I'm seeing, we're, it's all plug and play. So hopefully nothing goes wrong. Just like any car guy knows, the easiest install can always go fucking wrong. I'm hoping my car doesn't catch on fire, explode, or anything like that. <laughs> we'll see. We have all the mounting points, all the brackets, gaskets, and all that stuff today. Or that they sent us. They did send me a uh, the third brake light, or the brake light that you put underneath the ductile. It's smoked. I don't think I'm going to install it today. I'll probably do it down the road or something like that when I rewrap the car. Because I don't want to go ahead. I don't want to take off the ductile. Put some 3M tape on it again. I just, I don't want to go through that bullshit. Just in case you guys don't know, behind the camera today is Rafa, AKA Endless Shots. He's giving me a hand. Say, like, what's up, bro? What He's gonna be, <laughs> He's gonna go ahead and give me a hand with the whole recording thing. We're gonna try and push these vlogs out even more. Hopefully we can introduce his car itself, see more of his cinematography, his photography. I'm actually yeah. gonna try and show him cinematography and get him more into it. All right guys, that being said, let's go ahead and install this shit because it is getting dark right now. SUK is looking so good with the new wheels guys but today like I said we're gonna install the new taillights so these are the AP1 taillights that came with the car when I purchased them they're pretty cool they're OEM pretty decent the looks of it but I want something more aesthetically pleasing and just adding a little bit more pizzazz to the rear you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I don't know if you guys can tell let me bump up the ISO real quick the previous owner did cut into these taillights. He didn't really do the best job of sealing it, so I did get, on rainy days, or when it's really condensation-y, I did get water going into the taillights themselves, and that did fuck them up a little bit. You can see there's some dry spots in there, and I got kind of tired of that, so I decided, you know what, why not just splurge out and get the new taillights right there. Yeah. So let's hope it's an easy install. It's not. Yeah. First things first is taking off the interior trim, and that should give us vantage point to the, I think there's three or four 10 millimeter bolts, or nuts that you just take off. Um, I'm gonna use a crescent wrench, you could use a socket, whatever you want, but I only have a crescent wrench right now, so we're gonna go ahead and use that. All right guys, so there are three 10 mil, I think it's 10 or eight mil nuts right there that you do have to take off, and then you have to disconnect the harnesses right there. They're just plug and plays. So after you take out the four nuts, just go ahead and pop out the taillight, and then should just come out like that. Oof. Damn. Of course, I forgot one more fucking. There we go. Oof, that is out. Damn, gone. <laughs> so, when you receive the Depot taillights, you do get brackets for the AP2 and the AP1. So, they're completely different. 
not not by too much, but they're still somewhat different. So all you gotta do is add the gasket that they give you on there. So for these AP1 headlight headlights as well as the AP2 headlights, you're gonna come with stock sockets right here that you bolt in your lamps to. Go ahead and take those out and fit them in accordingly to these socket sizes. They're pretty easy how to figure it out, but just go ahead and take them out of your OEM ones. Slap them onto the aftermarket ones. You're gonna put this on top of here and plug everything into this. And then from this, once it's on here, you're gonna plug it into the car and then it should be good to go. Another thing that'll make the installation a lot easier from what I saw and what we were dealing with. Fucking focus, my guy. God damn it. There's gonna be some black garments that come on these Phillips screws. Just go ahead and take them off. Need them at all. You don't need them. Just, just take them off. Just take them off. I'm telling you, you'll save a lot of time and you'll have more length with the screw without it. <laughs> You know, shrimp. Oh shit! Hey, it worked! It worked! Yo! Let's fucking go! We were like waiting for nothing to happen. We have both taillights installed. Two dumbass motherfuckers <laughs> trying to figure this shit out as we go. And so I'm gonna go ahead and start up the car and let's see how they look. I'm scared as fuck to think one of them won't turn on. Oh, they look badass though, Mike. Oh yeah, 100%. Where they better turn on. Oh, thank God. Alright. Try the next one on the left. One of the, the fucking. See the light down there? On that side? It's not on, huh? Nope. And everything was connected? Yeah. Well. <laughs> Let's try and figure that out. Use your left one. Left. Use your right. This one turns that shit on as well. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we wired it up wrong, so we're gonna go ahead and figure that out. <laughs> so when you when you push the hazards, these two lights down here are supposed to light up. We had an issue where only this one did. This one wasn't going, we were fucking with it and I unplugged I ended up unplugging it and switching it around and I shorted that light and the dash itself so you can't see the speedometer. So I'm assuming it turns on itself right there, but you can't see the gauge like to see your RPM. RPMs. Yeah, you can't see your RPMs or just going how fast you are in general. Yeah. So I'm assuming it's going to be a fuse. We'll just work on that tomorrow. It is getting pretty dark out. So this is going to be a two part vlog. So let's see how tomorrow goes. Two days later. Yo, what's up guys? So this clip is actually a few days after the whole incident and us not being able to figure out what happened. Let me backtrack a little bit and explain the whole incident as to what happened. So basically what you're doing with the OEM taillights that you take out of the car, there's gonna be plugs, the ones that you put the bulbs into, you're basically using those as adapters for the LEDs. That's pretty straightforward. You take it out, you put it back in, boom. So what we did wrong was that for the reverse light, it'll click on, there's three little LEDs in the lower right corner of the driver's side rear taillight. That wouldn't go on. My fault was that, so when I flipped it 180 degrees, I caused a short. So on the plug that comes from the harness, there's obviously a ground and the hot wire. What I did when I flipped it, I caused the ground to go up, which was causing a short, and that continued to pop multiple fuses. So in the moment, I was really freaking out because I thought it was the taillight that was fucked up, and I thought I was gonna have to go through the process of returning the whole thing, waiting even longer and all that stuff. But I took a step back, waited the next day, my buddy came, he helped me out. The one thing I can tell you guys is that when you freak out, the littlest thing you overlook my buddy Alvaro came and he basically even showed me, dude, this is the easiest thing to look. The fuse is being popped, you put the plug 180 degrees and you fucked it up. But the headache is figured out, we did it. Thank you Alvaro, thank you Rafa, other Rafa, thank you to the homies that came and helped out. My advice guys, don't fucking freak out. Take a breather, take a step back, analyze the issue and follow it step by step. More than likely it's gonna be the simplest of things to fix. The LEDs look freaking awesome at night, guys. I drove it the other day and oh my god, dude, they look so freaking awesome. The S2K's ass looks so much better, dude. Like when I was looking at it, I was like, fuck, dude, like this, fuck, it was so sick. To summarize the whole install, it was simple as hell. All you're doing is transferring one thing to another to another and just plugging it in. That's all it is. Just make sure that when you guys put the connectors in, it's facing the right way. Don't do the stupid mistake that I did and do a short to ground and pop your fucking fuses and run around chasing your own tail. Take the time, don't rush it. It's a pretty simple install. All right guys, so the sun is going down right now, so perfect time to show you guys the taillights. Rafa just showed up. Let's go check out the LEDs. All right guys, so here is the final product right here. The fitment's pretty fucking good. It's pretty solid on it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start up. I'm gonna do the hazards, turn signals, and reverse light so you guys can see the full thing.
Fucking asshole. <laughs> I got so fucking scared. So, again, guys, this is the issue that we had right here. This plug. I could just zoom in. I'm fucking retarded. It was 180 degrees, and the plug itself was upside down, so that's why I kept causing the short to ground, and that's why I kept popping the fuses. And I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys like this. I'm in love with them. They're fucking sick, dude. These are going to get me hella hoes now. <laughs> At least, at least, at 15, least hose week, 15 hoes a week, oh. plus tax. Plus tax. So like an extra undies. three. Oh, undies. They're gonna throw me their undies. Yeah. If if not, a bunch of dudes gonna be throwing undies, but it's still the same thing. They're all undies. Thank you guys for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.